Hello everyone and welcome back to Alex L8 Golf. This week's tip is all about those three deft moves in the driver. These are the three most common moves I see that cause missed fairways, lost balls in the trees, that can really damage your score on a Saturday. So the first deft move in the golf swing with the driver I see is fanning open of this club face. Now, the effects that this causes is a really cupped left wrist at the top of the backswing, which promotes a very, very open face at impact and a weak impact position. Now, for me, this is gonna cause a predominantly a slice or you're gonna to have to compensate and change your angles and change your body in order to get a centered strike and either hit that straight shot or that nice draw we all like to see. So the first death move is fanning that face open in the backswing, causing a cup left wrist and open face at impact, causing that big slice off to the right. So the most common shot shape I see with this fanning open of the club face is one, a loss of power, but predominantly high and out to the right. So what drill are we gonna to use to eradicate this first death move in the golf swing of the driver? So let's highlight what we actually do when it's wrong. You'll see this butt of the club is pointing out to the right. The club face is open and my wrist will be cupped at the top of the backswing. If we highlight this at this point here, just past hip height, you notice it's again pointing out to the right. So, the feeling I want you to have is, I want you to take that golf club back just past hip height and the club at my knee. This butt of the club is now pointing into my right hip. So not pointing out to the right, it's pointing into my right hip. This is gonna give me a nice flat wrist at the top of the backswing, a lot squarer face, equals a lot squarer impact and a lot straighter shots. So the second death move I see most commonly with the driver in the backswing is a very long backswing that's across the line and a flying right elbow. Now, the consequences for us in the downswing is that it promotes a very steep angle of attack. Now, this can cause very shots that are very starting low, finishing out to the right and predominantly slice shots. And also, a descending arc into the back of the golf ball when in theory, we really want to hit it on the ascending arc that nice high, no spin ball flight. So how are we gonna eradicate this second death move in the backswing? So all you need is two alignment sticks. You're gonna place one directly down your ball's target line. The second one, you're gonna grip it alongside your golf club. Now this is just gonna highlight and give you a great feeling of where this butt of the club and your hands are in relationship to the plane of your swing. So you take your normal stance, nice and athletic, if I was to take a really long cross-lined approach, look where my red stick is pointing. It's pointing off over to my right. If I then take a nice backswing that feels like the golf club points at my end of my alignment stick, you can see my right elbow is not flying now, my left wrist is flat, my club face is square at the top of the backswing, which is going to give me a lot easier, a lot easier kind of move into the ball no compensations made and give me that square impact which is in turn allowing me to hit the ball harder and further with more power, more consistency and greater control. So the alignment stick on the floor is directly down my ball to target line. I'm going to feel like a swing and point my stick at the far end of the alignment stick on the floor, not out and right of it. So again, nicely points at the end, shorter back swing, flatter left wrist, square club face equals better shots. So the third and final death move in the golf swing with driver is the transition at the top of the backswing into the downswing. Most commonly I see people really anxious and really wanting to hit the ball hard and their transition is a big shift of weight into the left side. For me, this gets the club working very steep into the back of the ball, causing shots out to the right or out to the left and very inconsistent contact. How are we gonna get rid of this for you? So as you can see, I've just stuck this alignment stick poking up about six to seven inches above the golf ball, but covering the center of the golf ball. Now, for me, this is gonna highlight whether I have moved this way over the golf ball or I've stayed behind it. But also, I've not only done that, I'm gonna place the logo of my golf ball on the back so I can see all of that Strixen logo. So for me here, this is two simple thoughts of how we're not gonna get our transition moving this way into the back of the golf ball, causing it steep, but allowing us to stay behind it, load that power, and hit it on the up. So as you can see, the alignment stick is covering my golf ball. If I move off this, I will be able to see the golf ball, or the entire golf ball, not being dissected by the alignment stick. And also, I will not be able to see the logo, the Strixen logo, on the right hand side of the golf ball. So just to summarize that, if I move this way, I now can't see the Strixen on the back of the golf ball. 
and I can see the line has moved on the golf ball. I can see the majority of the golf ball, it's not being dissected in two. I want to feel like I can see the Strixon logo and the golf ball stays right in the middle of the alignment stick. And we hit it on the up, nice ascending arc, ascending angle of attack and a higher launch but with less spin. So the three death moves were fanning the face open on the back swing, a cross line and flying right elbow and that shift of weight in the transition into the downswing. So for me, let's think about all those things. We're going to keep that club face square into our right hip, point the butt of our club at our alignment stick on the ground, keep, keep it so I can see all the logo of the ball and half the ball is being dissected. Into the back of the ball, nice ascending arc, really smooth, very, very more chance and more consistent shot shape going to occur. Thank you for watching this week's tip on Alex Elliott Golf. Let's take those three death moves out of your golf swing, create more consistency and more power with your driver. It means more fairways and lower scores. As always, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to keep up to date with everything Alex Elliott Golf. All you've got to do is hit my icon at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and see you next time on Alex Elliott Golf.